we've got imminent risk of flooding in Ontario, we are losing habitat, and there are things that we can do in environments, especially along water courses, to help buffer against flooding and restore habitat. Um, so this has been a collaboration of uh, many minds and hearts at Western. We've got a wonderful team of students across disciplines working together with the local conservation authority, UTRCA, um, to do some work uh, restoring the Bank of Medway Creek aimed at improving water quality and resiliency to flooding. We're here today doing live staking, which is a form of bioengineering. And bioengineering uses living and dead materials to help to stabilize slopes and stream banks and such. And we're using sandbar willow, a native willow. And what we're doing is we're putting them into the bank of the creek as deep as we can to hopefully uh, get to the water level so that when they sit, they will draw in that water and they will start to grow. Uh, the sandbar willow is a very optimistic tree. It will re -sucker and continue to grow. So that's the nice thing about harvesting the willow is that you can come back to the same site year after year, well, usually every couple of years, um, and we can use the same, the same willow again and again. The nice thing about willows too is they do have a hormone in them that allows them to root. So willows is a really good candidate for this type of staking because they do root so easily. Starting at the water's edge, they stop erosion or control erosion. Many of our stream banks in southwestern Ontario are, are in dire need of, of stabilization. They are slumping and, and, and eroding. Yeah, it's exactly sometimes, you know, being hanging out with friends, studying on your like own focus groups may seem a priority, but at the end I do feel like as a part of the planet we have some responsibility toward the planet, like campus, and especially like a part of Western, we have like one of our beautiful campus. So I really want to like get involved and from my like few initials here, I go to like meet some Brandon is one of them, like few other focus people to like get involved and then there are like many initiatives. I went on like few wellness walks with them and then I get to know the campus more and get involved. And that really like fascinates me how beautiful our campus is with all this like diversity and the river, all the biodiversity we have. I was asked to come in, um, just share some knowledge and speak and open up the event in a good way. And so we did that first. I just explained who I was and um, and the, where I learned the knowledge I carry, which is from the Three Fires Medewan Lodge. And I am Medewan. And um, I brought my daughter with me. Um, we both are in a line of women that have the responsibility to take care of the water. Um, and our responsibility um, is not just to the physical water, but it's to the spirit of the water as well. I think something that's important to reflect on is that people have been connected to water and this river here for many, many thousands of years. Um, there are ancient relationships afoot and actions and behaviors and systems that we've built in just the last couple of years have uh, tarnished those relationships and caused quite a bit of harm. Oneida Nation of the Thames has been on a boil water advisory since 2019. Our nation has both a quality and a quantity issue in our community, uh, both bad water and not enough of it, essentially. Our community currently uh, gathers its water directly from the Thames River. There is a holistic interconnection between humans, the land, the water, and we have to all find a way to, to come together in a, in a space, in a space that's peaceful, where we're not disturbing and not interfering with the natural system. And in fact, the land and indigenous peoples are fundamentally interconnected. We are planting species that belong here, we're respecting our relations, we're honoring long-standing relations that indigenous peoples have had to the land. It's really a thrill to see that kind of work happening on a university campus. Thank you.